So here I am at the airport queue waiting on an airport ride because I started at 6 this morning and I just want a little break. So I brought me a coffee, water as usual. Try not to drink soft drinks, which I love, but let's see. A lot of people probably don't know, hey there everybody, that the cell phone parking lot is where we park. I don't know why they call it cell phone parking lot, but maybe it's because we're all using our phones for Uber and Lyft, but it's also a parking lot for people coming to the airport to pick up family members or whatever. But. It's a lot of fun. This job is a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. I had so many interesting trips already today. Different people. I actually took two girls to school. <laughs> I didn't know. When I picked her up, she had a, a stop and then a second stop, final stop. And she gets in the car and you know, couldn't tell how old she was. We're not supposed to have anybody under 18 alone. And her name, well, I won't say that, but she gets in the car and all my riders usually sit back here. I pull my seat up and most people are just more comfortable in the back, I think, anyway. Sometimes people sit right behind me and I think they like to watch. This is where my phone goes. I think they like to watch the directions. Maybe it makes them feel safe, but I don't know. Maybe they just don't want to be within eye shot of the driver because they're a little bashful. It's usually a, a girl by herself. I understand that. Uh, I have a dash cam and it records all the time. It records back here and it records out front which is a good safety feature for the rider and the driver. Because if there's any kind of problem or anything, it's all recorded. So I like that. And Uber rents that to me for $5 a month. They just take five bucks out of my check. It actually works all the time, even when I'm not Uber and it's on. So I like that. But um, crap, I forget what I was gonna say. I'm 62. I guess I can do that. I do it all the time anyway. But a lot of times my cousin will be out here and she and I will talk. It's a lot of fun. Talk about our rides. But I'll get back to the, the girl I picked up, the woman I picked up, I thought. And when we got to the second stop, it was another apartment complex. And I thought she was getting out. But uh, actually, it's, we were there to pick up a second rider. And she. She looked young. I could tell she was a school girl. And then when she gets in, they start talking about somebody that was supposed to go to school with them and didn't. And then I, after I confirmed the first stop, I slide the little thing and it navigates me to where we're going. And it, I could see where we're going to a high school. So I'm already in the ride. I didn't ask their ages, but that doesn't happen too often. Uh, I did, I've done several airport rides, picked up a guy in um, downtown on Market Street, and he was here from Wichita, Kansas, and going back home, to, brought him to Chattanooga Airport, and then he, he's flying to Atlanta, then from Atlanta to Wichita. And we talked about music. I've always got this on, and I'll let people pick their music, and they love that, and some people don't do it, but I can say, like I'll show you, push that mic. Pink Floyd Pulse. It brings it up. I wish, I wish the mic app on this phone worked as good as it does on that one, that Android tablet that's uh, YouTube. It, it gets it correct every single time. And I'll even, some, some people won't be bashful and I'll, push the microphone and they'll say who they want to listen to. I've discovered a lot of good new music, even rap music that I like um, by doing this. And plus the writers just love it. They, Especially if it's a Friday night, Saturday night, and there's a couple and they're partying a little bit maybe and they're just like, 
this just extends their party because they're listening to their music they like. And I like to provide that to my writers. But yeah, I've been uh, been busy. Done probably. I think I've done twelve rides, which maybe doesn't sound like much from six to well, it's not almost ten. But you know, I have to drive to get them. Sometimes that can be twenty minutes. Sometimes it's five minutes or two minutes. And then I have to take them to the destination, and sometimes that can be three four minutes and it can be 45 minutes so when I drive downtown like on a Saturday daytime and a lot of times in the evening I zigzag little short trips and I can do 20 trips in several hours I get points for that I don't know what the points do it's something that uber keeps up with but oh yeah i do kind of it, it makes me a different level like right now i went from blue to gold and with each level you get benefits like i can get discounts on gasoline i can get free merchandise at certain like um speedway places like that i think i've never done it but and also it gives me more information about the ride it'll tell me how far the ride is to pick up like you got a ride request, it tells me their name and their rank, like how many stars they have. Five is the best, and it'll be like 4.96 or something. And it'll tell me how far the ride is once I pick them up. Like it'll, you know, it was a 15 minute ride, and the rider's eight minutes away. I mean, I always accept, I have take pride in never, I've canceled one, I only have one cancellation. Now that's something Uber really presses. And I actually had to do that last Friday. Um, it was my own fault because I wasn't keeping up with the time. But up till fr last Friday, a week ago today, I was a 0% cancellation. If you look at my profile, my Uber profile, you'll see that little 1%. And if you look at that, it, I think my rank is 4.9 something. And my acceptance rate, acceptance rate is 98%. I never not accept a ride. The only time I have it is when uh, a while back, before many riders had come back from COVID, <clears throat> it was just unreal. It was like, felt like I was the only one out here. And the, I would be doing a ride and then I'd get a, I'd get a request for another ride. I'd accept that one before I drop the ride I'm on off. That way I set it for the next one. But it just kept going and going and going. I couldn't accept more than one ride. So I had about 14 or 15 requests in like, 10 minutes and I couldn't accept but one of them so all them other ones uh, actually counted against me but anyway I still have a good acceptance rate I think it's 98% uh, it was near 100% up to that that day but in Lyft I've got I'm, I'm excellent in Lyft I think I got the perfect score I don't do Lyft as much as Uber I usually just do Lyft from the airport but I, I'm going to Dalton today at one to pick up some merchandise I'm getting. And so I may do Lyft because I can, this is cool about Lyft, you can set a destination and a time you want to arrive there as a driver. So I'm gonna say I wanna be in Dalton by one o'clock and that way it will only take rides that are on my route heading that direction. The ideal thing would be to pick up somebody here at the airport that's going to Dalton. And if I happen to get that, like I've been, this is a long time to wait for a ride at the airport, even though there's a surge, which means there's a higher demand. So I'm, after I record this, I'm gonna turn my Lyft app on because uh, it'll just double my chances of getting a ride here. And how lucky could I be if I get one to Dalton? If I get one to Dalton, I'm just gonna stay down there and do lift until it's time to meet my sister-in-law for the merchandise I'm getting from her. And that does happen. My longest ride was, I was up in Cleveland, Tennessee doing lift because I was just gonna hang around that area until it was time for my son's band to play. They were playing there that night. And I got a request and went and picked the guy up. And see, the thing is, with Lyft, I get the request, but it doesn't tell me how far the trip's gonna be. 
So when I picked him up, he he, he didn't get in the car. He goes, hey, I, I have a long trip. And the last two guys said they couldn't do it and canceled me. I said, where are you going? He goes, Clarksville, Tennessee. <laughs> well, I couldn't turn that down. That's like 200 bucks. And it's, you know, I, I enjoy the long trips. In fact, the guy slept the whole time. So it was, it was very nice. I just had my stereo on or, you know, listen to music. Um, and here's something I think is a error on, on Uber's part. And I've called them and talked to them several times, but they're not going to change it. When you sign up for a city, you know, you want to pick a city that's got a large population near you. So I picked Chattanooga, even though I live in Georgia, of course. But I did not know at the time that they only allow you to pick up riders in Tennessee. So, for instance, say I got a say I got an airport ride from Dal from Chattanooga to uh, Dalton with Uber. That'd be great. But when I